Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I wanted to discuss the different tools available to us when it comes to buying, selling, and evaluating NFTs on the Solana blockchain. Now, if you're familiar with NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain, you know all about the tools and websites like MetaMask, OpenSea, Rarity Tools. So the purpose of this video is to explore the equivalent tools to the ones we love on Ethereum on the Solana blockchain. Also, I've opened up my own Discord server. So if you like talking about NFTs, cryptocurrencies, or if you simply need help, be sure to join by clicking the link in the description down below. And if you like winning free cryptocurrencies, be sure to stay until the end of the video where I explain how you could win 25 free ADA coins, which is worth roughly $90 Canadian. In order to buy NFTs on the Solana blockchain, you're going to need some SOL tokens. And to find out which exchanges offer it, I just go on CoinMarketCap, I click Market, and then from there, you're going to be able to see a list of most of the exchanges that offer Solana. The next thing you're going to need is a Solana wallet that supports NFTs, and that can be connected to the popular Solana marketplaces. So you have a few options. You have Solette, you have Soulflare, but my favorite is going to be Phantom. And if you're used to MetaMask, it works exactly the same. All you have to do is install it as a browser plugin, which will then allow you to easily access your wallet. And it's going to allow you to connect to marketplaces or connect to websites in order to mint NFTs. Now, if you need help getting started with the Phantom wallet, I'm going to link a tutorial or you can hop into the Discord and ask me your questions there. So next, what are our choices for marketplaces? Where can we buy and sell NFTs? Now, if you're used to Ethereum, you're used to some pretty established players that have great user experiences. They have a ton of variety when it comes to collection choice. Now, some of the big names you might be used to are Foundation, OpenSea, Rarity, Super Rare, Nifty. Now on Solana, it's not as established and that's normal. Ethereum had a four year head start. So it's gonna take some time for Solana and even Cardano to catch up. But I do believe this will happen a lot faster since they have great examples to look at. And since a lot of the new people who are finally making the decision to dip their toes into NFTs, they're gonna choose Solana. They're gonna choose Cardano. They won't feel comfortable paying 500, paying $1,000 in gas fees. So they're gonna go to the platforms that have no gas fees. So our first option is gonna be solanart.io. It's still in beta. If you look at the logo right here, you can read beta. And as I said, the variety variety is not there. If we look through their list, they have roughly 10 top collections, and then they have seven new collections, but some of them repeat between the top collections. And that's pretty much all there is to choose from on the site. I also find it quite buggy. My wallet will often get disconnected. I have to reconnect it multiple times because the page just keeps reloading on its own. The other thing is the prices are really expensive. If we filter by low to high, you could see the minimum you have to spend for this collection is going to be 13 soul. And these collections are all relatively new. So there's no price history. It's difficult for us to gauge whether this price is justified or not. But as more people start using these exchanges, more people people are going to be willing to spend more money. So in the future, you might be rewarded if you purchase one of these. Now, a lot of people think this project, Degenerate Ape Academy, is going to be the Board Ape Yacht Club of Solana, meaning it could three, it could five, it could 10x in the next year or so, but you have to be willing to take that risk. Now, the next option for buying and selling is going to be digitaleyes.market. If you go under buy, you could see all the collections that they have available or you can just scroll their homepage and then you're going to be able to click whichever one you want. You can see they have some similar collections to Solana Art. Here they have Degenerate Ape Academy. They have Franked. So let's click Franked and look at the prices on here. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is the price floor is 1.9 sol higher than we saw on Solana Art. So always be careful where you're purchasing. You might be able to get a cheaper one on a different marketplace. Now, this exchange isn't too bad. I'm not the biggest fan of their user interface. They still have a lot of work to do, but at least we have some choice. The more competition we have, the better these exchanges are going to be because they're all going to want to be the number one place to go on the Solana blockchain. Our last one is brand new. They just launched today and that's going to be soul c now if you could tell from their name from their description open nft marketplace it does seem like they're trying to be the open c of solana and i think that's a great thing open c is my go-to marketplace on ethereum and if we click explore you could see the presentation of their nfts is really nice i like the way this looks and if we were to click one of these nfts just like open c you could see the different traits that it has now it's still very much a work in progress but again, it is great that these marketplaces are popping up and hopefully with the competition, they all step their game up and they offer the same user experience that we get on the Ethereum marketplaces. Next, how do you check the rarity of your NFTs on the Solana blockchain? Well, if you're used to rarity tools on Ethereum, the equivalent to that is gonna be how rare dot is. 
If we look at the homepage, you could see there aren't too many NFT collections available. Let's just click one at random. And you can see it looks a lot like rarity.tools, which is a good thing. I hope they just copy paste rarity tools because we're all so used to it and it works so well, but it is very much a work in progress. They just added rarity ranking and rarity scores. But if you read this message up here, this is not an official ranking and it might change. And actually today I've looked at this collection multiple times and I can confirm that the rarity has been changing. So really until they remove this message and they confirm that these scores are official, do not believe anything you see, but just for the fun of it, let's click one of these NFTs. And then you can see it's a lot like rarity tools. You get the attribute as well as the type of attribute and the percentage of NFTs that share that attribute. Now, a few things that you'll notice are missing from rarity tools. One is a direct link to purchase the NFT the way on rarity tools, they link you to OpenSea. And the other one I've noticed is the ability to just click one of these filters on this page and then automatically filtering the entire collection. So if you want to filter, you just have to go back to the collection page. And then on the left side here, you're going to be able to select attributes. Unfortunately, they don't live update. You have to click submit. And then if we keep clicking more attributes, you're going to see it's going to keep narrowing it down. So obviously still a lot of work to be done on this website, but the fact that they're coming along so fast is really a great sign. Now, the other feature that Rarity Tools is so well known for is going to be their project launches or their upcoming projects. And fortunately, How Rare also has this feature. If you look up here next to the logo, you'll see upcoming drops. And then from this page, you're going to get a ton of information. You're going to get the date it's dropping, the time, the count, so the amount of NFTs, the price, and the most important, you're going to get a link to their website, their Discord, and their Twitter. The only thing that's missing to make this just as good as Rarity Tools would be a picture or a little example of what an NFT from that collection is going to look like. So the next tool that I find extremely useful for getting a clear picture of the Solana NFT market is going to be soulanalysis.com. And from here, you could see the most popular projects, their average price in 24 hours, the price change, market cap, volume, volume change in 24 hours, the price floor, and their Twitter followers. So how big is the community? And some of these figures really give you a good idea of how that NFT is doing. If you look at Soul Bear, they're getting crushed right now at minus 63.5%. Same thing for Kaiju cards at minus 41%. And a lot of people are actually upset with the team over at Soul Bear but that's a topic for another video. This is just about the tool and it is a great and very useful tool. So the last thing I'm going to show you, it's not a tool, but it's actually pretty useful if you want live updates on big ticket items selling on the Solana blockchain. And that's going to be the Solana Observer Twitter account. So if this is something that interests you, be sure to follow them on Twitter. That does it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you want to win 25 ADA coins, I will be giving them away when I reach 1000 subscribers. And if I'm already at 1000 subscribers and you think you missed out, don't worry, just hop on into the Discord and I am for sure doing another giveaway. So how do you enter this giveaway? Well, you have to do four things. You have to subscribe to me on YouTube. You have to comment your Twitter handle in the comment section down below. You have to follow me on Twitter and you have to retweet my pinned tweet. If you want to buy cryptocurrencies in Canada, be sure to use my referral links in the description down below and you will get free money when you make your first trade. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.